Hey, it's Pete, GCI Turf. Man, I hope you're having a great day. Check this out. So many people ask me, say, hey, Pete, how do you get those cool looking checkerboards in your yard? How do you get those diamonds in your yard? So let me show you. Okay, to help you learn a little bit about striping, first of all, you need a few things in order to stripe your yard. Now, you may be one of those guys that you could care less about these lines in your yard. That's completely fine. But check this out. If you are somebody who wants this striped appearance, baseball field, golf course appearance, you need a few things. First of all, you got to have a real good quality turf. This is a turf type tall fescue. Excellent for striping. It stripes really good. So many other grass types stripe as well. They do just as good. I just so happened this is my choice of turf, so it's what I got. Second thing you need is you need that big ball of goodness up in the sky. The sun has a lot to do with this. Well, why is that? Well, one, as I'm driving down my pattern here, my line, my mowing pass, I'm tilting the turf slightly that way. Well, when I go up here and turn around, I come back down, I'm tilting the, the turf slightly toward you. So you're looking at it with the grain and against the grain. Here's a great example. If you've got carpet in your house, take your vacuum cleaner and do it like this. Mow, mow a straight line, turn around, come back down, turn around, go down. Do that with your vacuum cleaner. It kind of produces the same effect in a carpet, in, in your room if you have carpet. Now, the last thing you need is a mower that will produce a stripe. Now, you can see right here, I've got a right ZK standard, and uh, it is by far one of the best striping mowers I've ever been on. We made a switch this year, went with the right ZKs, and they stripe all by themselves. They produce a very hard, defined stripe. I like it. Not a sales pitch for right, but it is what it is. You have to give the machine credit where credit's due. Now let's say you're one of these folks that don't have a big commercial mower like this. Well, that's fine too. You see this little roller right here? Big League Lawns makes these. And what it is, it's basically a roller. Wheels turn. You can see it's mounted kind of on a pivot. So it'll kind of float with the grain, with the ground, with the contours of the ground. And what this is gonna do is it is gonna, as I'm going this way, it's gonna tilt that turf as I'm going. It's gonna kind of lay it down. Now, I don't want you to feel like it lays the grass completely over. Cause look at this, that turf's standing up quite well. It just barely tilts it just enough so that it catches that ray of sunlight and the light reflects off of it. So you can see from this angle, I'm seeing a set of stripes and let's pan over. There's your checkerboards. As we get over here, I see another set of stripes. So how do I do that? So in order to put the checkerboard effect in your yard or the diamond shaped stripes, I'm gonna pick a, I'm gonna pick a direction to mow in. It's gonna be at an angle typically. You can make a uh, complete 90 degrees. For instance, I could mow straight to the house and then use the road from my other angle and it would put boxes in the yard, but you would still see the diamond effect just depending on which angle you're looking at. So since I want the diamond effect straight to the house, what I've done here is I've made an angle this way. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over and mow the yard again this way and make, make a, I'm gonna create a box. You can see this box here, these little squares. And then here's my line here and see how I just cross right over that stripe right there. And see, you can see how it creates that box effect. And as I'm moving around, the box kind of changes shapes a little bit. You can see it a little bit better, depending on how the sun's shining on it. And you get over here and it kind of goes away, see? 
We'll walk over here. There they are showing up again. There they go away. That looks like that from down low, but when we get up in the sky in a minute and we do some flyover, you, you can see pretty much the entire, the entire box for the most part. It just all depends on how that sun is reflecting off of these lines. You can see here I've taken the right and the big league striping roller and I've, I've, I've made almost a perfect square right there. It might be off a little bit here and there, but I'm, I'm not quite that peculiar. But I've almost got a perfect box there. So when I move over here, you can see that box is getting, getting more defined. And as I get back, you can see it even better. That's simply because my entire angle of eyesight is changing and the sun's reflecting those, uh, reflecting those rays off of it a little bit differently every time I move. Hey, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something here. And check this out now. Remember, you don't have to have one of those big, fancy, expensive mowers. All you got to have is that big league uh, lawn striping roller. And hey, you can make your yard do this too. As long as you got the sun, of course, you're going to get that. Of course, you need to work hard on your turf. Have a nice, thick stand of a good, healthy turf so that it will allow that roller to do its thing. Now, hey, check this out. If you want one of those rollers, I can give you 10% off on one. Just look down in the description and there's going to be a coupon code. You go to bigleaguelawns.com, you pick out the roller that matches your mower, or that fits your mower, and you go to the checkout and you proceed and you buy that thing. And in the coupon code section, you put my coupon code in there and they're going to give you 10% off. Now, hey, remember, their selection is pretty strong. So don't feel like your mower may not, they may not make a roller to fit your mower. You need to go out there and check them out, bigleaguelawns.com, and see if they do. And hey, I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for all you folks watching. I hope you're learning stuff. I hope you're learning things about the yard, how to stripe and how to grow turf and all that. I'm having an absolute blast doing this. I absolutely love showing you the little bit I know about growing turf and how to make your property look good. So, hey, like, subscribe, share it with your buddies. Tell all of them about it. Get your stripes right. Hey, be on the lookout for my July 4th video. It's going to be something pretty cool.